for centuries. We've been fighting and keeping track of different things that move in and out of this world. The most dangerous ones, we find a way to contain. This is one of the worst ever. Mom, can you hear me? I demand to speak with my mother. I am mother. It's mom. The thing that's got a hold of her makes her a little stronger. This family is unnatural behavior. I've never experienced anything like it. What happened to them? It wasn't some random family tragedy. The father was evil. And the mother cursed him for discovering the truth. There are other forces at play here. A demon so powerful, it could wipe out all of mankind. We can't do this alone. If we put them together now, there will be blowback. Please tell me the b is dead. Mom. You come crawling back. Looking for mommy's love. It's a Hellstrom family reunion. Welcome back everyone, this is going to be my new Marvel Hellstrom trailer, Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness, Easter Eggs, Ghost Rider, all the really crazy supernatural dark stuff that Marvel is working on in Marvel Phase 4 and Marvel Phase 5. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos, we'll do a new Amazon giveaway, all you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know what kind of really dark team up you want them to do with Marvel's supernatural characters during Marvel Phase 4 and Marvel Phase 5. So if you don't know what's going on with Hellstrom, this is a limited series. It's only going to be one season. It's the final TV show that Marvel did under Jeff Loeb and Marvel TV before they sort of reorganized things with Kevin Feige, and he started pumping out all the Disney Plus Marvel Avengers spinoffs. The show is sort of a cross between Rosemary's Baby and the Omen series. Damon Hellstrom is the son of Marvel's version of the devil. So in the series, as you can see, he's sort of like a supernatural detective like John Constantine from the DC Universe. And if you haven't spent a lot of time reading those classic Marvel comics that deal with Ghost Rider and their darker characters, Marvel's version of the devil is not Mephisto. Mephisto is a version of a Marvel devil, but he's not the devil in this context. He's just one of the many different cosmic fear lords from other dimensions in the Marvel Universe. We'll get into that when we start talking about Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness stuff. The way Marvel explains heaven, hell, is really just other dimensions in the Marvel Universe, but there are different tiers of gods in the Marvel Universe, like you have the Sky Fathers, you have people like Odin. The way they integrate that into the MCU is a little bit different than what they do with those characters in the comics, but it's not quite as complicated as it seems. The Doctor Strange movies are the best explanation for that. Think multiverse of madness, multiverse, alternate dimensions, alternate realities, alternate universes. But the Hellstrom character does have a deep connection to Doctor Strange. He was a member of his Defenders team at one point. He was a member of the Midnight Suns, which is where you get into big Ghost Rider crossover. The partner that he's talking to in the trailer footage is his sister. Her name is Satana. I think they just call her Anna during a lot of this footage. But both he and she have the same type of divine supernatural magical powers because of their devil bloodline. Marvel's introducing Blade into the MCU, Vampires, Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness is going to be the first real MCU horror movie. They're doing a Moon Knight Disney Plus series. He's a really dark character if you're not familiar with him. So Marvel is just doing a lot more darker supernatural characters heading into Marvel Phase 4. And this is just the beginning. Kevin Feige said way back during Marvel Phase 1, they were looking for a path to a lot of these darker characters like Blade and Ghost Rider, but they just didn't know how to get there until they did Doctor Strange, and he was the route to that. The reason why this show went to Hulu instead of Disney Plus, though, is because it was part of a larger Ghost Rider Supernatural Marvel crossover event that they were going to build up to a while ago involving the Ghost Rider TV show that they had been developing. That's right, there was a Ghost Rider TV show that they were almost about to make with Gabriel Luna's version of Ghost Rider from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
The big crossover event was going to be their next version of the Marvel Netflix Defenders team, like with Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist all coming together, although the Punisher was part of that, he wasn't really a Defenders character. Now that Disney owns Hulu, that's just where a lot of their crazier content that they don't want to put on Disney Plus goes. So that's why this super dark Midnight Suns style big crossover event was going to go on that. They were going to call the team up Adventure Into Fear and it would have just run for multiple seasons. It would have been the same model as the Marvel Netflix shows where you do individual shows but then they all cross over in a team up show. Some of those shows got cancelled in the last year because they sort of reorganized the way they make Marvel TV shows. Now Kevin Feige is in charge of everything creative that Marvel does. He's in charge of the TV shows, the movies, and Marvel Comics if you can believe it. He just has a lot of oversight over Marvel Comics. It's not like he makes every single Marvel comic book. He just sort of informs the overall direction that they're headed with that stuff. But the idea with giving him control of all the TV shows is that there's just a lot more consistency and a lot more crossover and synergy with the movies. When they say everything is connected, they kind of started that with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now they really mean it. Now there actually is genuine crossover. Like we just got a WandaVision trailer that is truly connected to the movies and will inform Marvel Phase 4 future movies. We'll see those episodes later this year, thankfully. This Hellstrom TV show is just one of the few shows that survived the merger between Marvel TV and Marvel Studios when Kevin Feige took over. So they fired Jeff Loeb and a lot of the shows that he was developing they got rid of, including that Gabriel Luna, Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider TV show from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But the basic premise of the Hellstrom show is they're sort of billing it as a X-Files style possession procedural where they go around looking at demons that have possessed people trying to get rid of them and they find out that one of the worst demons of all time has come to Earth again. No surprise that demon winds up being Hellstrom's true father who is the Marvel version of the devil. That's why you see all that footage of the person sitting in the throne with blood running down their hand just implying that he is king of demons. They purposefully hide a lot of the footage of his face so that you don't see who it actually is like they scratch it out in that family picture there. But the way they talk about the father during the trailer just implies that at some point he was banished back to hell and when they refer to the mother unleashing something new on the world again in present day and you start to see all this violence erupting, all these demons proliferating, they're just teasing he has returned to earth and Hellstrom and his sister Satana are going to try and lock him back in hell. He has crazy magical aptitude and his innate divine power is just immense so Doctor Strange at one point actually considered him as a potential successor for Sorcerer Supreme. They haven't said much about the future of potential Midnight Suns or Hearts of Darkness crossover on the Marvel Disney Plus shows but I think a lot of that will happen probably after they do the Blade movie. They haven't said when that's going to happen now and because so many Marvel movies have been delayed in the past year but I think they'll start talking more about it when they do the actual Moon Knight series. There have been a bunch of announcements about castings for say like She-Hulk and the Miss Marvel TV show. Moon Knight is going to happen right after those. Originally they were going to release Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness March 2022. That might get pushed just a little bit again because they just delayed the Marvel movies one more time this morning as I'm making this video. There was a big announcement of course we'll do a separate video about that because there's a whole bunch of Marvel news today. But I think the really exciting thing with the Marvel horror stuff that they're doing in the movies now starting with Doctor Strange 2 is that they brought Sam Raimi back. So not only is he a notable Spider-Man director so it's sort of bringing it full circle because Kevin Feige himself was a producer on those Sam Raimi Spider-Man films but he's also a notable horror director. There have been all kinds of rumors about crazy cameos in alternate versions of Avengers characters. There was even a rumor about an Iron Man cameo scene but it was going to be the Tom Cruise version of Iron Man that Marvel was originally going to do back in the late 90s. No joke, before Robert Downey Jr. became Iron Man in 2008 in that first Iron Man movie, Marvel had tried to make an Iron Man movie in the late 90s with Tom Cruise as Tony Stark Iron Man. Because Robert Downey Jr. is so fantastic I think we can say now that that version probably would have been inferior to Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man so I am happy with the way things wound up but it would be crazy if that winds up coming true. But it's just a rumor at this point so if we hear any more news about crazy cameos from alternate versions of Avengers of course I'll do a video about it. All the Hellstrom episodes are going to start releasing on October 16th. I don't have big plans to do videos for weekly episodes but I might do a wrap up after the series is done. I think the takeaway in all this is just to get really hyped up about super dark supernatural characters coming into the MCU slowly. In other Marvel TV news, they just dropped that WandaVision trailer, I'll post a link at the end of this, but they also announced that Falcon and Winter Soldier had been delayed so I'll talk more about when different Marvel series and movies are coming when I do a video either later tonight or tomorrow so as long as you have alerts enabled for my channel you should see that when I post it. 
Everyone click here for that full Avengers WandaVision trailer video and click here for that brand new Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2 trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.